In this video, I'm going to talk about one particular probability distribution function, the most widely used one, the famous Gaussian distribution, also known as the normal distribution or the bell curve. What is this distribution, this particular probability distribution function, and why is it so famous and widely used? Well, the answer comes from the central limit theorem. This is a mathematical theorem that says, to paraphrase, if you get enough random shit getting on, going on, you get a Gaussian. More specifically, if there are a lot of different random processes going on, and sometimes they add up, sometimes they don't, but whether they add up or not is completely random, then if there's enough of them, you will get a Gaussian distribution. So they are quite common. Most of statistical theory, in fact, assumes that the probability distribution function is Gaussian. Unfortunately, it's, it's often not true in practice, and we'll come back to that later. But for the moment, let's assume what most statisticians assume, and that everything has a nice Gaussian probability distribution. What does it look like? Well, here is a Gaussian. It's low and down, gets high, and comes back down again, hence the bell curve that's a bit more pointy than a bell shape. What this is telling you is that most highest probability is getting a value near the middle, probability drops off as you go away from the middle, but it doesn't go to zero, it always remains positive a little bit, no matter how far out you get. So you do occasionally get extremely extreme values. There's an equation for it, uh, you don't need to know it for the purposes of this course, but it's here for your reference. Uh, the probability, um, some constant, designed to make the integral of the curve 1, e basically to the minus x, half x squared. Uh, mu here is the mean. And sigma is the width or standard deviation. If you look at an actual Gaussian curve, this value here will be mu, the mean, and that here is the standard deviation sigma. Now, of course, to work out the probability of getting a particular result, say a value more than something or within a certain range, you have to integrate this. Unfortunately, Gaussians are hard to integrate. Um, look at the Wikipedia page about integrating Gaussians if you don't believe me on that one. It's generally done numerically. Um, luckily, it's a very common problem. Uh, the integral of this curve is built into something called the error function, which you will find in many calculators and computer programs. But more often, you can just look up a table. Here's one web link for a table, but there are many others, which tells you the integral of it up to various values. But in the real world, often all you need is to remember the values. It's basically, the integral of the area within one standard uncertainty, one sigma of the mean, is 68% of the area. So if you take one standard deviation here, one sigma as it's called, and to do all the total area inside that, that'll be 68%. If we go to two standard deviations, so that's two sigma. You're now talking about this sort of area. And that's now 95% of the time. And for three standard deviations, you really are getting right out into the wings now. And you've got 99.7% of the time. And those three numbers will be enough to get you through most problems.